to today's What I Eat in a Day. If you're new here, my name is Molly Mason. I'm a holistic nutritionist. If you're ready to care for your body and love it in every season, you're in the right place. Subscribe below for more videos, wellness tips, and all the encouragement you need to show up for your brightest life. You guys already saw a tiny peek into my morning routine. I'm home from yoga, I'm showered, and now it's time to actually make my real breakfast. If I work out that early in the mornings, I often just do some orange juice and collagen. I'm really focused on replenishing my liver stores. The good balance of easily digestible carbs and protein right when I wake up. I definitely cannot handle a ton of food before an early morning workout like that, so I just make sure to get my metabolism started in the morning. Now I'm actually ready to make a big, yummy, delicious, satisfying breakfast. used to work out in the mornings fasted all the time and I would never wake up hungry and the thought of eating or consuming anything early in the morning couldn't stand it but the thing is working out fasted is a stress on your adrenals and your thyroid and your body needs glucose to convert your thyroid hormone to the active version and that's actually what my body has been struggling with and so I've noticed since waking up and working on making sure within the first 30 minutes of waking I'm replenishing my glycogen stores, I'm fueling my liver, I'm getting my metabolism started, and I'm not working out fasted, and then I come home and have a big breakfast. I notice such a difference. I feel like a different human. If I'm not working out at 6 a.m., I do like to eat eggs and a little bit more of a substantial breakfast after I wake up, but there's no way I would, one, have time or two, have the stomach to be able to eat that much before a heavy workout. So that's why I do the orange juice and collagen. It's a very simple, fast, easily digestible source of minerals, of carbohydrates, and of protein. Everything that my body needs to get started for the day, and then after working out, I'll come home and have a bigger breakfast like this. And then, and then, I have my caffeine. You guys will have to let me know below, when do you drink your coffee? You saw, I brought Cashmere his coffee in bed. I've done that every morning for him of our whole marriage. He loves sipping his coffee in bed. I know a lot of people, the first thing they do when they wake up is coffee, right? Getting caffeine in your body before you have properly fueled it causes your cortisol to spike. It messes with your hormones. I've noticed such a big difference since I've incorporated this. One, I don't need caffeine to wake up. I know that we think that we do, but you don't. And if you do, that's a problem. I can definitely go about my morning, go work out, have my morning routine without caffeine. And then after I've eaten breakfast, my tummy is feeling full, I feel energized, I feel focused, I feel steady, and my blood sugar is stable. Now I'm gonna go make myself my matcha, which also serves as the like ritual from my morning routine to my work time. If you also work from home, you know that the boundary lines between life and work are very blurred. As simple as it sounds, making my matcha after I eat breakfast, bringing it up to my desk in my office, that really helps me turn my brain on and say, okay, it's work time. So there you go, two important tips. If you know that you have hormone or thyroid issues, if you have PMS symptoms, if you wake up not hungry, if you're cold all the time, eat within an hour of waking and eat before you caffeinate. I think you'll notice such a huge difference in your energy.
Holy smokes, I literally just had the most productive like three hour chunk of work. We are leaving out of town tomorrow. I was stressing all weekend about how much I needed to get done today before we leave and I wrote out this really long to-do list and I was stressed about getting it all done in a day and I have gotten like 90% of it done in three hours. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, eating a real nourishing, protein rich, nutrient dense breakfast and then having a little bit of caffeine specifically matcha more than coffee i am like superwoman i seriously feel like superwoman like ugh, it's the best also i left my phone downstairs i specifically try to break my week up into chunks of work and in deep focus work i leave my phone downstairs but this is what i eat in a day not my productivity hacks if you guys want a productive day in my life let me know but we're here for what i eat in a day it's time for lunch i'm gonna be entirely honest with you i don't even know what i have in my fridge you guys are getting a very real what i eat in a day because we are going out of town i did not do my normal meal plan and grocery shop this weekend but i'm pretty sure i have some turkey to do a little wrap let's make some lunch After I finish lunch, I always love to make a cup of tea to bring back up to my office. I don't know, it's just like the matcha. It's just a ritual. Um, oh gosh, guys, what do we wanna go with? I often go with lemon ginger or some sort of ginger. I do really like this detox tea. Uh, yeah, let's go with ginger, that sounds good. It's now almost three o'clock and I'm gonna make myself my afternoon snack. If you saw my previous favorites video, I shared about my favorite snack of late, which was dates and Kerrygold cheese. Today, we're gonna do a little version of that. I'm actually gonna do Pecorino Romano cheese. It sounds delicious, but I have fresh grapes and again, we're heading out of town, trying to eat up what's in the fridge, so we're gonna have some grapes. I really love quality grass-fed cheese and fruit as the perfect pairing for a snack. It's the perfect balance of protein, carbs, and fat. It keeps blood sugar levels stable. It's delicious. I mean, who doesn't love cheese and fruit? So we're gonna chop that up and get that ready for a little snack, but first, I'm also gonna share with you guys my beverage of choice lately, which is maybe a strong word because choice I don't know that I'm like loving this, but it is something I've been doing as a bit of my afternoon daily ritual. I call this my liver lover. It's a detox drink. It's just ice and water with chlorophyll drops, milk thistle, and lemon juice. I feel like in the world of nutrition, there's a lot of nutritionists who feel very strongly about detox support. And I do believe that there are very misleading products out there that tell you you need to buy their detox teas. When you don't, it is true that your liver can detox on its own. Your body is made to do what it needs to do. 
But if you're anything like me and you have hormone issues, you have methylation issues, your body is struggling to do what it's supposed to do, I always believe in finding natural ways to support our bodies and help meet the needs that it has, right? So in my own health journey, I've been really working on supporting my liver to detox excess estrogen as well as help convert my thyroid hormone. Obviously, you know what lemon juice tastes like. Chlorophyll kind of just tastes like what you'd expect it to. It tastes like grass. It's not amazing. This one I like because it has a little subtle peppermint flavor to it. It kind of just cuts some of the grassiness. Milk thistle on the other hand does not taste amazing. <laughs> but this is great for liver support, which is why I just take it in a small amount of water. I don't wanna be like sipping on this all day long. I just add these three ingredients, sip it back, I'll have my snack, and that's my little afternoon nourishment. If you can't already tell from my day so far, I do love to cook. I love to get fancy and creative in the kitchen. I love the art and science of food, but when it comes to the consistent daily, weekly lifestyle of nourishing myself, I keep it simple, like truly, it needs to be simple or else it doesn't happen. So tonight we are cooking what we call Mexican stir fry. And it's kind of funny because we, we couldn't really think of what to call it until we just decided to start calling it Mexican stir fry. And I think as I make it, you'll see why. It's a great way to just get chicken and veggies with some good flavor. We like to eat it with some siete chips. It's super simple. So I am gonna start chopping. I'll show you guys as I make it. No doubt, this is definitely a recipe you're gonna wanna try. Making dinner. <laughs> but she does this every night. <laughs> 